Hello everyone and welcome back to W Bricks. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Cole's Earth Dragon Evo set. Now, this set released on January 1st of this year, and it retails for $35 here in the United States. Uh, my first impression is not that good. I'm not sure what I'm going to think of this set. Was not too thrilled of it when it was released, so that's why it's taken me so long to pick it up. But I'm excited to check it out nevertheless. So let's get right into the review. All right, and the first thing I want to take a look at here, of course, is the box art, which looks absolutely terrific. I think this Series 2 wave of corsets has a great-looking box. Love the red stripe up across the top. Like I said in the other review, it's just like the original uh, 2011 Lego Ninjago boxes, except it's missing Kai, of course. Uh, beautiful uh, uh, pictures in the back there. It looks absolutely amazing. And looking back there in the distance, that might be... The thought of what could be a skeleton or the, the skeleton tribe here of people, what one of their bases or castles could look like. I don't know, just a thought. Or it could be trying to signify the set from last year's Core Wave, that Spinjitzu Temple. All in all, a very good looking front of the box art. And then on the back, it just shows you how you can upgrade your dragon from this little chubby thing to uh, the dragon itself. Once again, you have the thumb tabs, but that is nothing new here in 2023. They're on almost every set. All right, let's get right into the minifigures. All right, and our first minifigure up here today is the core coal. This is the exact same coal we saw last year, so nothing special here at all, uh, but it is a great looking figure. I love the orange and black here. As you see, there's his face print, which is just the standard coal face that we've seen for years at this point. All in all, a great coal. I think this is, you know, one of the better coals we've seen recently. Absolutely love him. Let's move to the next guy. Now, I can't really show off this minifigure on a stand because he's got his own little crab legs thing. So this minifigure here is the Bone Scorpio. I actually really like the uh, legs here for him. He does, um, well... Let's see. He can stand up here if you choose to. He is its own minifigure on its own. But if you choose to, you can use the scorpion legs or whatever here. Uh, the legs do break off easily, but that's just kind of how it is. You can't really do anything about it. All in all, I think this is a really cool and fun figure. I actually didn't even expect him to have legs. I didn't analyze it very much. And so I was surprised to see that he actually had legs and he just sits on there. I thought it was going to be more of this was his body. But all in all, this is a great looking figure. I think it spices up the uh, the uh, bone samurai, the bone knights, this tribe of skeletons here. I think it gives it some detail and fun. I think this is a great figure. All right, and here we are with the main build of the set, Cole's Earth Dragon, of course. And I think there's some really good things here with this dragon, but there's also some serious negative things that I'm just, I'm, I can't look past here when it comes to this set. A huge positive, which I'll start off with here, is how good this head is. This is a very, very good dragon head. Uh, the horn pieces are terrific. They're unique. This is what we want. We want new unique dragons from Lego, except the rest of it, I feel, goes downhill from here. Even though this head looks terrific, the rest of the set here, I'm just not too happy with. First of all, the wings are very subpar. Now, I get this is a $35 dragon, so we're not expecting too much, but uh, these wings, I'm just not liking them. Uh, I do think they are better than the Zane dragon wings, though, even though, you know, it, it's just they don't get good posability. I don't feel like as a kid, you'd be able to play with this much. As a collector, I don't feel like I can display this very well. I mean, it's basically able to be posed in one way, and that goes into the next downfall of this set, and I think that the posability of these super thin legs, I mean, look at that. That is two plates, you know, and then a couple uh, uh, curved parts on there. That's a two-plate width. That is not good. That is not what we want to be seeing. I, I was expecting uh, larger legs. You really don't see on the box how thin the legs are unless you're looking really close. But, I mean, you can see the back ones, but it's expected for the back legs to be smaller. But, man, those big ones, they don't look that small on the cover. But they definitely are here. It's It's, yeah, one plate. And then look at the feet, how thin those are. I think it could have been done better. I think... A lot of the pieces of this set were put into the body right here, and I think it was very unnecessary. Just lots of unnecessary part usage inside there. Uh, pieces do like to fall off quite a bit here on this set. Uh, there's not much you can do about it. 
uh, this one goes right down there up front. Uh, but yeah, these horn pieces like to just fall off like crazy here on the tail as well. Nothing you can do about that. They are amazing pieces. You know, this set has great pieces in it. Uh, like I said, the head, the uh, horn pieces all over it. You've got great uh, black pieces all along here for mock building. Uh, great, great parts. I just, the posability of this thing is not for a collector. And then I want you to take a look at how thin this thing is. You're really not getting bulk to the dragon as well. Very thin. I think the tail looks very good for the dragon. Uh, it does have limited posability since it is stuck in the curves. Um, but I think, I think it works for this one. I think this tail looks very, very good. I think they did a great job on that. Uh, also the saddle area for Cole, there is not, you know, look at this. He is up there really high, super, super high. <laughs> it's really tall for a small dragon like this for him to be up that high. So I, I think that's a little weird. I think that this, uh, golden piece, they were trying to make the Evo upgrade really cool. And I think that took away from it. And then my main problem here with the set is that the head cannot move. It is stuck where it is. You've got this incredible head that they made. I mean, come on. This thing is amazing. Um, but it's stuck. It's stationary. It will not move. It is just in there. Uh, Technic rotted right in there. Nothing you can do about it. I mean, well, obviously, you know, you can mod the set if you want to change it up. But, you know, for the general consumer your head is stuck like this. There is no posability. It just, you've got such a good looking dragon head and it just gets torn apart by not being able to even move. I think this set should have definitely been done at like the 80 to $100 price point. And I think it could have been nailed. I think some cloth wings uh, or the vinyl wings, either one on a giant black and orange dragon would have looked super, super good. And I think this $35 price point just was not good enough to satisfy the dragon they were trying to create here. I don't know if many of you know this, but this is only the third cold dragon set ever released, and that's including just a $10 just throwaway dragon. We've only had the 2011 Cold DX Cold's Earth Dragon Attack set, which was incredible, especially for back in 2011. And then in 2016, we had the Skybound Cold's Elemental Dragon set released. And then moving into 2023, I mean, this is 12 years, 12 years after the original one was released. And this feels like a step down. Um, it's just $35. Now, I think the price is okay for this set. I don't feel like I wasted money on this set. I think that you've got a good, uh, good two figures here. I think a third figure probably should have been included. Uh, just another one of these uh, Bone Knight guys, you, you know. It costs Lego, what, a couple pennies just to throw them in there for us. And I think that would have really helped the value of this set and made it feel a lot better. I think this set would have been very good at $30. I think this $35 is just really pushing it for what you're getting. Uh, but that said, I think, you know, kids could enjoy this set, but I think it's going to come down to the kid. I think if the kid that you're buying it for is a big Cole fan, that they'll probably really enjoy this. If this was for, say, a Kai Dragon when I was a kid, then I would have loved playing with it because it was Kai's. You know, so if you're a Cole fan or you, you're, you got a, or a kid, a nephew, grandson, whatever, that is a Cole fan, then this is probably a great buy for them. Uh, but otherwise, if you're just the general collector, uh, buying Legos because you like to display them, then this is definitely not a set for you because it does not have very good display value. Thank you all very much for taking the time to watch this review. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I will see you all later on W Bricks. Ah!